What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Silverstorm Forge, Marvin Glassburn, Charday Raider, Sushi Overdose, Saren G. Tiso, Data, Big Geek, Strictly Psycho, Barnard Maddox, Logan Moreau, Eric Smith, Ellie B, Ultra Chara, Amory Dunlap, Joshua Selbishka, Randy Cheney, Fall of Man 20, Sec Clark, Neck, Anthony Greisel, Garrett McKinney, Miss Chris, Arnold, Richard Black, Mr. Happy, Marshall Selden, Tack Cap, Grace Shield, and as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to our executive producers, Joshua Fix, The Gimster 101, Bevan Brummett, and welcome our new executive producer, Vincenzo. Thank you all very much for your support. If you wish to become a YouTube member, click the join button, which is down by the subscribe button down below. And if you wish to check out our Patreon, feel free to click the link down below in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, damn it. Oh, wait. Oh. Damn it. Oh, wait. You know what? No, I'm not playing that one. Fuck you, Al Pudding. Oh Rookie God. of the Year 2020. Let's go. No! Oh. No! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can tell, but I like food. That's, that's a fat joke. Yes, yeah. I mean, mine's a, mine's a bit more noticeable than yours. <laughs> you got you got a little pooch. I got a, I got a keg. Uh, no, I'm wearing something where I don't blend in with the couch. You can tell how wide I am. Well, you do. They I blend in with the couch, and they can tell how wide I am. Hell, they think I am the couch. <laughs> they look at the, they look at that. It's like, why is the couch talking? Oh God, that's Nate. It makes me feel any better. I've seen quite a bit of dudes that are even bigger than me. Boogie 2988 does not count. There's other students. I know, I know. I'm just being silly. But, Did, it, uh, it, didn't he lose weight? Who? Boogie. A little bit, but the main thing that he did was he got, he got his teeth fixed. Now his teeth look like something out of like a, out of like, uh, a bad, like a bad CGI <laughs> cutscene from 2005, you know, when everyone talked like this all the time, and they showed their teeth way too much, like that, like in fucking uh, Dead Rising, remember how they, how everyone talked, it was like this, all the time, it was like, Frank know. West. Didn't really play much Dead Rising. Oh god, it was, it, it was infamous with Capcom games, especially for, especially Dead Rising and Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 5, whenever Sheva, uh, Sheva talked, it was like, like, she showed her teeth all the time, and I'm like, that's either an error in the player model, or they made her teeth, like, way too big. I don't know. But anyway... Um, uh, I do notice, like, for some reason, they show teeth a lot in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, because I've been playing that recently, and <clears throat> I noticed that about it. Mm. It's like, everybody in this game has really nice teeth for this being a post-apocalyptic universe. <laughs> Ain't that a kick in the pants? Uh, it, it's like, yeah, this is supposed to be fucking like post-apocalyptic how come their teeth ain't falling out uh guarantee there's gonna be some bullshit so it's like well they actually still have toothbrushes and dental care and all that it's like it's the post-apocalypse how i don't know but one thing i do know is that internet historian anytime he makes a video we always got to get you know check it out in some way and uh today we're checking out his video on his incognito mode channel food so <sighs> i hopefully they don't show anything that's gonna like ruin my appetite because uh, here's the thing i got up early today because i had to go help my mom take care of her cats i had a fairly large breakfast when I, uh, right before i got there and then all of a sudden uh, i had to stay at my mom's house for a much longer extended period of time and i didn't get to eat lunch and i did not get to eat until about five o'clock so i I, I skipped lunch and went straight to dinner, or, or, because, isn't it like a, isn't it like there's breakfast, uh, the seven break or the seven meals, uh, of the, uh, of like what the Hobbit says, like there's breakfast, second breakfast, elevensies, uh, lunch, afternoon tea, 
dinner and then supper. I, I forget. You you re, have you read that from Was like it brunch? One of them. Brunch maybe. Yeah. Damn it! Now I'm curious. Hobbit seven meals. Let's it. Let's see. Hobbit seven meals. There we are. Okay. Breakfast. Second breakfast. Elevensies. Luncheon. Afternoon tea. Dinner. Supper. Yeah. So no brunch, but sec, uh, second breakfast is pretty much brunch. Yeah. So uh, if you eat like a hobbit, eat seven meals a day. Breakfast. Second breakfast. Elevensies. Luncheon. Afternoon tea. Dinner. Supper. So yeah. Uh, it was around 6 p. It was closer to 6 p.m., so I had dinner. And now I'm going to be having supper, hopefully, here soon. Because uh, I got a whole half pizza left up there. Uh, stuffed crust. And I'm not going to let it go to waste. So, yeah. Yeah. Also, food is so good that one of my favorite comedy bands, who I'm actually wearing a shirt by, <laughs> did an entire album based off of food. And then they still put out songs about food after that album was done with, too. So. It's like they got a more recent song called Chimichanga that's always stuck in my fucking head. Also, a little inside joke with that shirt. Uh, my friend on Facebook saw their video uh, where they all switched instruments. And it was just that video out of context that he saw. And he was like, man, after listening to other comedy bands like Still Panther and uh, um, Ninja Sex Party... Uh, Psycho Sick kind of just sounds like Herd Dur, we make music, Herd Dur. And it was because their vocalist was in a, like, on the drum or the, on the guitar while their drummer was on the mic. And he's like, I don't know the lyrics. So he was just like, Herd Dur, for the lyrics, you know? Herd Dur, Herd Dur. I told my friend, I was like, dude, this is just them switching instruments. Go listen to like literally any of their other songs. But Rob saw the comment, their vocalist. And was like, I love when we get mean comments. I just make merch out of them. So he made it into a fucking shirt. So I was like, well, I have to buy that shirt now. <laughs> and he bought it. And here it is for the whole world to see. Psycho Stick is all herder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So anyway, Internet Historian, let's uh, get into this. This is Food on his Incognito Mode channel. Here we go. Food. Food. What is food? Food. Why is everyone always taking photos of their food? I don't. And how come there are so many free samples these days? I take photos of if food. People in food. Africa are starving. Do what? See, I don't understand people going to a restaurant and being like, "Look at this food the restaurant made," you know. But I take photos of food I made. Oh, same like, here. Hey, I do that look for what me. I, made. I do that for me for like family and stuff because. I remember when I took photos of my fried oh, yeah, chicken one time. 11 seconds in the video for Paul's Sorry, stuff. sorry. Stuff, but yeah. yeah. Uh, I take photos of my food whenever I'm showing it off, but yeah. Why don't they just go to the grocery store? But why is my church so cheap with all the free sample? And why does this tiny rice make my tummy feel dry? Oh. And why are you crying? I say well, how are you this. alive? Oh! All this and more on In the... Mother Energy, right. So they've got these Mother Energy drinks, right? I love them. They've got the same caffeine as all the other energy drinks. Mm. But man, they've got this copy on the back. And it is the wankiest copy I've not ever seen on any product. But it's close to Mother Original. <laughs> Under the stars of the Southern Cross, we live life our way. <laughs> life is in perpetual motion. And to slow down is to be left in the dust. The infinite bounds of sunburnt land <laughs> and barreling blue swells are limited only by your imagination. <laughs> Kick out the sand, bump up the tunes, and rip into some mother, crisp and cool, with a kaleidoscope blend of flavors. It'll keep the fast time spinning. Morning, noon, and night. Damn. Mother is calling. <laughs> Pursue your dreams. Search for adventure. Get out there and let the good times flow. Whoever wrote Jesus. this thing. Now, hopefully this video will be large enough that someone connects the dots and Mother Energy gets the message that this shite can't be printed on the back of the hand any longer. <laughs> They've got the best product. It is like the cheapest energy drink on the market, and it's the best one. The sour apple one's pretty good. Is it's, it good? A, uh, it's epic swell. It's the light blue one. Yeah, you'll like it. You like sour. Mm. Get a free mother epic mobile swell. phone card holder. <laughs> I, what? I don't understand <laughs> what what's happening with this. It always irks me worse? whenever Ma they do flavors like that, where like a, a they'll have these different flavors, and they'll have like 
fucking names of flavors, and you're just expected to guess what the hell that might taste like. Yeah, it's just like I was gonna just say, fucking say what it tastes. I was going like. to say, what the hell is this? Mint. He's like the green apple one tastes good, and he's like, oh, it's the light blue one. I'd never fucking guess that that was green apple. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, it tasted what the what the fuck is this? Oh, it's oh, it's apple. Like it would be off putting as yeah. shit. Yeah, like, it's like I can understand. Fucking put green apple. Like on. this one, this one I could see cherry. This one I could see orange. This one I could see lemon. This one I could see. It's like, Mint? original is fine, because it's like, alright, you have an energy drink, this is your energy drink's flavor. Yeah, it's just like it's Dr. Like, Pepper. Alright, like, when I try an original monster, like, I don't really know what that tastes like. Like, the closest I've been able to figure out is it's kind of a lemon-lime, I guess, but, like, not really, like, Mountain Dew or Sprite, like, at all. Like, you know, like, I can't really place what the flavor is, I just know that that's, like, my favorite flavor of drink. That's hmm. why I drink too many of the damn things. Oh, God. I wish I could get a drink that was less caffeinated that tastes exactly like that. Well. Like, without all the horrible shit in it, you know, because it's a really good flavor. Yeah. But, I mean, I know a lot of people disagree with me. Like, I mean, there's people that are like, Red Bull tastes better, and I'm just like, I disagree, man. Like, Monster's like a sweeter Red Bull, and I really like it. Yeah. But... And plus, this is called Mother. Maybe it's an offshoot of Monster. And the whole point of this rant was just put the fucking name of the flavor on it. Yeah, <laughs> or at least give us a little, like, anecdote, like, right here below the thing. It's like, I can't see, like, what flavors... But Frosty Berry is a better flavor name than Epic Swear. Yeah, and this is just sugar-free. And this one's called Passion. This is Passion! It better fucking taste like Passion Fruit, because if it tastes like something fucking else... I'm gonna throw it at the wall. Oh, dude! Imagine if it tasted. Imagine if it tasted like. It's see, yellow this is can, cherry so I'm yellow. Not expecting it to just be like lemonade. I'm imagine if it like, tasted like Mountain just Dew. Put lemonade. <laughs> imagine if it tasted like Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh, so many people would be pissed, including Mountain Dew. Okay, of anyone. Yeah. It's like, what is what does this pattern mean? It doesn't mean anything. Okay, it's got gothic writing, which is incredibly hard to it's read. Like it looks like it says water. <laughs> and then they put all that shit on the back, and then they go, well, I know how to attract customers. They'll get a free mobile phone card. Holder. What does it mean? A mobile phone card? What's a mobile phone card? Oh, it sticks to your phone, and it holds cards. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Sure. It's like I don't like at once. I don't like, either. Since 2006, Mother's been the trusted brand to give the people of our country the energy to explore, create, have fun, and live life to the fullest. From sunrise to sunset, city to surf. Every time Next I handle to my the wallet, great... I'm very careful not to lose my cards out of it. Yeah. And I don't want to have to be that careful every time I handle my phone, you know? Yeah, because I handle my phone a lot more than I do my fucking wallet. Yeah, like, it's, uh... the outdoors. Rooftops to the underground. Uh, it's the same shit. I'm just gonna list all the places. <laughs> I'm gonna list as many contrasting places as I can and knock off early for a cold mother. Rip open a mother and keep the good times coming. Morning, noon, and, and night. Hashtag always on. Okay, well, so we haven't updated the website <laughs> since 2019. Wow! Okay, so over a year ago now. Wait, I have to check out the Instagram real quick. Is this up to date at least? Last post. Three, three days, days ago. ago. Okay. okay, so that's still kicking it. I just might be in the room when they decided that it was going to be called Mother. It's just mother. It's, it's second cousin. Like, it doesn't yeah. mean anything. It's a, it's a weird <laughs> name. Is this is someone's job. Who? They're just out of You definitely make a better argument like, for okay, monster. Huh? You definitely make a better argument for monster as a one word. Yeah. It's like, maybe they're like, could we come up with something that people might mistake for monster so they buy our drink by accident? Yeah. Like we could get sales off of, like, a kid going, like, Hey, Mom, can you pick me up a monster from the store? And it's like, here's your monster. It's like, this says Mother. Like, you know. It's like, it's like uh, I've always it goes I've seen some companies week. that I'm like, you, you sneaky motherfuckers. I it, guarantee part of your marketing is to, like, actually, like, get, like, trickle-down sales you, from you know, who meant to buy Oh, dude, else. I worked in movie stores. That happens so much with movies. Dude, there was one movie... Came out the exact day Transformers came out in theaters called Transmorphers. And yeah. it, on the front, there was like what looked like a knockoff Autobot, and turns out it was like horrible CGI, horrible, ed like just, ugh. And then there was another yeah, every one. Every time I see those rip off movies, I'm like, they have to be banking entirely on people just picking up the wrong damn movie. Well, yeah. Stores. Also, this right here goes back to that old meme. It's just like, uh,. Mom, can we pick up some Monster Energy drinks on the way home? We like, have yeah. Monster Energy drinks at yeah. home. And it's Mother. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, can we get McDonald's? We have McDonald's at home. Like, 
that mean? Yeah. Yep. God. Not very many at all. This no. is a fairly small brand. We could totally have influence over these guys. We could bully them. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> just like leverage. Just like, we could bully them. <laughs> just like that that phrase alone. It's just like, yeah, we could be ambassadors to this. We could bully them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. That's brutal. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it means <class> <laughs> Hold on, boys. Ad time. It's Mother Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah mother Man. I just had sex with your wife. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Suggestions for Mother Man. Uh, it'll be great. The editor will have to do some. It looks like Mrs. Okay. Incredible mother cosplay man. gone wrong. It's not easy to have it all. When you're a mother and a busy professional, there's just not enough hours in the day. That's why I drink Mother Energy. And my kids. And my husband. And my car. Try new mother snortables. Put it in your eyes, and your eyes will see twice as quickly. Mom, I'm kind of getting sick of this this energy drink. I like just some some, <laughs> some water. Just yeah, some water. water. Oh, water really mother. Thirsty. What do you think the main ingredient is? <laughs> Soccer mother as well. That goal was legit. Oh, 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 oh. It's just simultaneously a mother and a well. I'm already seeing the man part. I'm seeing a lot of the mother. If you know what I mean, I'm seeing some fucking cans. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's her tagline. She goes, take a look at my delicious cam. She has no idea. She's got straws in one hand and all the flavors here. Yeah. Yeah. Mother, of course, she arrives to the scene in the Mother Mobile. Of course. What would that be? It's like uh, an SUV. Yeah, an affordable SUV. She's mid size. Yeah, good mid size SUV. Kids from soccer practice. Hey kids, it's me, your mom. She just got done cheating on her husband with the pool boy again. <laughs> yes, she knows she's her husband all the time. And you know she has a custom license plate. Oh yeah, but you couldn't get mother. <laughs> yeah, oh she's in a hurry. Mother, um, mother man, mother man. <laughs> She smashes an entire can of mother and throws it out the window. Just like that guy's windshield. No. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's about that station too. Like a sixteen car pile up behind her. She just dro- continues driving. She finally gets to the scene. Diddly diddly do. I'm gonna say those kids. By the way, this is fine. This photo is taken from a scene where the kids all got out just fine. Otherwise, we wouldn't show this image. Anyway, she gets there. <laughs> she gets up. The door opens. Four cans for that. <laughs> you kids could use some refreshing beverages. Wow, Mother Man, you're here! She covers them all in berry blast. Yeah, this is the cold one. She, she shakes it up and sprays it all over them. This thin coating oh. of liquid energy will completely protect you from the fire. But there's one kid who's like, oh, I can't, Mother Man. <laughs> What's wrong, Steve? I'm diabetic. She just goes flat faced, like her smile drops. Drink the fucking can, Steve. What are you talking about? Diabetes is a myth. Just drink the mother. <laughs> the sugar free so he gets one of those oh, it's on an empty stomach my tummy really hurts oh, kids throws up and she's like drink it drink, drink it now. now the mother made me do it okay wow what does that mean this is terrible i mean but you still drink it so what does that say about you oh well it tastes good best drunk frees your nuts <laughs> off Cold. It's just like a random <laughs> mash of words together. Yeah. Oh, so they've gone, oh man, it's best drunk cold. Yeah, oh, we'll say something edgy like freeze your nuts off. Yeah, okay, cool. I'll make that into a sentence. Best drunk freeze your nuts off cold. And then you scroll up a little bit and it's like, also we have fish derivatives. What? Fish <laughs> derivatives. We contain blended fish lips for oh. your convenience. Contact yeah, us. Can we, can we send them an email about that? Alright, so what's my first name? Um, Derek Fastman. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> Eric, what's his last name? Yeah. Max. S- S- speed. <laughs> life live or something, you know, like. <laughs> life <Lifeson. laughs> Ah, life lives. Okay. Ways. Mother. It ends up with the mother company destroyed or a lucrative sponsorship. Because <laughs> <laughs> we recorded a lot of nice things about it. We did, but if you don't fix that copy, that that uh, audio is not getting released. That's right. Okay. So, long story short, I was spinning in perpetual motion, so as to not be left into the dust, of course, and the good times were seemingly never ceasing, until, to my shock, my mouth was full of, fuck, how do you spell kaleidoscopes? My whole world came crashing down, from sunrise to sunset, city to south, next door to the ground. Uh, let's just remove one of these. People can never be the same. Wait, hold on. Hold <laughs> it's mother. Yes, mother. I'll be right there. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Cut! Cut! That's me to be talking about mother for two hours!
We're not doing this. We're moving on. I don't want to edit a whole video of nothing but mother. Moving on. <laughs> okay. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Norman here. Oh, Today gosh. We're on streets to do some Excuse me, sir. Could you. Could you load up Netflix on your phone? Yeah, sure, I guess. It's connected to Netflix, I said. You just got cracked so hard. We just connected your phone to one of Nord's thousands of international servers. Now you can access content from all over the world. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, by the merch. You're on Nord. Jesus. Hey, oh, my God. This is. This is so self-referential, it hurts. Because, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I, like, all those channels that, like, Ali A. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, every time. Those stupid, those, like, intros are, uh. Oh, for a kiss? Gross, get away from me. Suit yourself. Guess I'll see if someone else wants to be one of the six devices on my NordVPN account. Actually, now that you mention it, I kind of do. Too late. <laughs> you had your chance. You just got Nord Prank. Guys, we just stole this dog and we're gonna hold him to ransom. We'll use NordVPN so no one can find our location. Actually, I forgot to turn on NordVPN. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's the end of the video. <laughs> They're the ones who keep approving these ads. Remember, no rush. Oh god. Go to NordVPN.com slash incognito for a huge deal off the two year plan. <laughs> I saw them. I saw them. Victimless pranks. Sorry, bro. And then the more victimless pranks. Good luck, kid. Kicks a kid in a wheelchair off the cliff. Damn. 200 videos. Huge right. deal off the two year plan. We had a game at school. It was called fruit bagging. I'm intrigued. So what you do is you find a relatively thin tree, you know, something around sort of six inches in diameter, something like that. Mm. You get a plastic nice. bag and you get a nice ripe fruit like this one. And you put it in the plastic bag and then you swing it around as hard as you can. And then you hit the tree. Yeah. The plastic bag then wants to wrap around the tree yeah, of course. with a lot of force. Yeah. And it is absolutely unpredictable in which direction the fruit will burst out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shit. It's like a mushroom roulette like you were saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah really, And nobody knows who's going to get fucking beaten. <laughs> right in the fucking dome with a fucking orange. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. So it's just something me and my right. dumbass yeah. friends would have done as kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Are you supposed to eat the stripper cake? It's just made of cardboard, right? Wouldn't you spot? Are you going to say you mean to eat the stripper? Surely they're not made of real cake. Otherwise, you would have to do a ton of labor on the outside. Just for, yeah. But you can spot a cardboard cake <laughs> a mile away. I don't know what kind of bunny cardboard cake factory you've been going to. Have you seen a stripper cake in real life? Uh, I've seen a stripper, but I haven't seen a cake. I can imagine... <laughs> was she eating cake? Uh, no. She was jiggling around a lot, and I, um, I watched in awe. Did did you eat cake? Oh no. Do you know if you go through the McDonald's drive thru at 3 a.m., they'll do literally anything you ask. If you go up to the little box, you can just say to put anything in a burger and they'll do it. There's all sorts of things that you can also ask for that aren't on the menu. Like, you can ask for a cup of pickles and they'll just do a cup of pickles. Yeah. It's like, which I've been trying to get rid of these fucking things for days. <laughs> we got jars of the stuff and the more keeps They're coming. They're coming. fucking <laughs> suck. Why the hell would you want a couple of pickles from McDonald's? It doesn't understand how the supply chain works. No, a couple of pickles from Popeyes, maybe, but not McDonald's. Maybe they want to throw them at random people on the street. I don't fucking know. The fridges are full, damn it. <laughs> He's walking out to the restaurant area with just boxes of frozen meat. He's like, do you want this? It just keeps showing up. So it seems like my whole adult life, it's a 50-50 chance whether the ice cream machine is out of service. <laughs> oh, God. I believe that the technology like has not improved 50, 50, such like that you cannot... For example, clean the ice cream machine deal. within 10 minutes and have it up and running again and only need to clean it twice a day, at most. McDonald's, we're fucking coming for you. Like, I want to know what's actually happening because I don't believe that the machine is out of service. I think that they're covering up for something. It's like, for some reason, they don't want to serve ice cream 
Oh, so that's exactly what it is. Oh, sure. Yeah, like they go there just for ice cream. Yeah, but then you say they're broken and they're too awkward to back out at this point. Exactly. So you still got your like, oh, here's a fifty cent cone, guys, and it costs them like you know forty five cents to make, so the margin on that's way too low. But <laughs> then, oh well, sorry guys, it's broken. You got to order yeah. whatever else he gets. Oh, I have fries and a cheeseburger then, and all of a sudden, dollar margin. Oh, I'm just melting down the cheese. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mustard, this burger's a bit of put together than I am right ketchup, now. Mustard, Holy shit. Imaging specialist. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, some color, taking yep. You fucking lies. I want to see what the comments say for that. Oh, and oh, they're turned oh, off. Cowards. Oh. cowards. Oh, hold on. French. <laughs> Agents de Conservation Artificiales. Oh, if we have one of those Twitch groups, you know, like offline TV or one of those yeah. things, oh, God. Be Agents <laughs> de Conservation Artificiales. It's quite good. I do like that. They're, they're some pretty cool, actually. And then our acronym will be SAM. I gotta diverge for a moment. I can always tell when a fucking movie or video game is gonna do badly. When they have a title like that. Reckoning Kingdoms of Amalore. And I think, oh, it's gonna fail. Yeah. Like, I don't even need <laughs> so to look for at it the did. poster. It's a good I don't game. need to look at the... Well, no. It, it failed financially. Yeah, but it's... That's the thing. It was like... It had a bad like marketing run essentially yeah i mean i would have just called it i would just like, called it most reckoning. everyone that i have talked to who's who has played it was like yeah it's a pretty bitching game yeah i mean i i agree Myself included so. well, i agree i've seen people play it and it looks like a lot of fun but there's no getting around the fact that it was bogged down by a level of unfamiliarity like honestly i would have just called it i would have just called it reckoning and then we're just kingdoms of Amalur. or kingdoms of Amalur, <laughs> yeah something more simple that it's just like they wanted Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order to fail. That's why they gave it like three subtitles: and then Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah. And instead, people are just like, "Oh, it's just uh, Jedi Fallen Order," because instead they just shorten it to like Jedi Outcast and like Je mm -hmm. like the people did that, and the game was a massive success. EA wanted it to Maybe. fail because they wanted to go back to making their yeah. bullshit like pay to win. Like, you know, online so service fiasco. with Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Oh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? I, I call it Metal Gear Rising. I don't ever say Revengeance because it just sounds <clears throat> stupid to say. It's a made-up word. But, I mean, the game is fucking badass. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, it's an amazing fucking Metal game. Metal Gear Rising is, like, in terms of action like, action games, like, one of the best I've, I've played. And just the fact that you can slice up almost everything in, like, the main environments... And it's the fact that they saved a whole ass character that like a lot of people were just like meh about like <laughs> and then after that game came out and everybody's like all right oh, right this is pretty dude, damn yeah. fucking cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyway, reviews. I just know it will do badly because they just couldn't pick a fucking name. There was one that came close but did actually do well. Bro, just call it Kingdom Come. Now, that's fine. You don't need. I hate, I hate that the colons are. Eh? Oh. I guess they're either expecting like a sequel or they think it looks more authentic or something. Authentic, yeah. Kena, Bridges, but right. Don't call, just call it Kena. Here's a worse one, okay? And this one just came out spirit. recently. Werewolf, the Apocalypse, Earthblood. It's got okay. two of them. Hold up. I, I gotta, I gotta. Werewolf. I gotta defend this one. Earth blood. It that is not their fault. This is based off of Werewolf: The Apocalypse, which is already titled that. Yeah. Which is a pen and paper role playing game, which is in the same group of games like Vampire: The Masquerade, which falls under a title called World of Darkness. Mm -hmm. So, that's the original creators of the the board game's fault that that is there. If they could, they probably would have just called it Werewolf Earthblood. But Werewolf the Apocalypse is a very specific nomenclature saying, oh, this is in the World of Darkness universe. Okay. So I got to defend that one. Like, they, they, they probably don't realize that. No. That's really disappointing that I see a 5, 4 out of 10 and a 57%, by the way. That sucks. I was kind of excited about that. Oh, well. Sorry, dude. It's got <laughs> two of them. 
It's got two of them. How cool would it be if it was just called Werewolf? Yeah, I guarantee this will fail. We'll get some person in the comment section who'll go, Um, actually, it did all right in uh, Japan and uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they want these things to go fucking gangbusters. It's not going to be the New York Times bestseller it's dying to be. Thank you. Like, like I said, like... I'm the guy in the comments who actually is like, that's that's not the case there, I promise you. Yeah. I promise you, Werewolf the Apocalypse is the title of the book set within the World of Darkness universe that it is based off of. So if you don't include that, it would be actually, like, not carry that, you know, like, the, the name with it. Like, people... Like, World of Darkness is not incredibly popular, so it, it doesn't probably doesn't really matter. It's not really selling based off of its name anyways. I've heard plenty of people be like, hey, that game looks really cool. And they'd be like, yeah, man, like, the whole universe is kind of cool, you know? And people would be like, oh, I've never heard of that. Like, you know, it's like, nobody really has, but... Yeah. Like, I played World of Darkness a little bit as a uh, teenager, so I actually know what it is. And then, like, people, like, love the Vampire the Masquerade thing, so it's like... What they really should do is they should somehow find out a way to give it, like, you know, like it, it should have been World of Darkness, Vampire the Masquerade, like, or Vampire the Masquerade, a World of Darkness chapter. Yeah, I, I don't know. That, again, <laughs> and, dude, like, if they had that name again, shared among all those games, it would be a lot more recognizable. Again, to dude, I don't think game. it's 100% on that. I think, yeah. again, look at Jedi Fall, look at Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Mm -hmm. Look at, dude, there's a lot of things that that do work and things that don't work and in truth I think if you're going with a new game starting out you kind of have to do if it's not an already pre like pre like set up thing in the medium that you're going for then I feel personally you have to shorten it to interest enough people and then people are like oh this is connected to this okay I think that's what they would have to do so yeah. I think initially yes but Later on, if it's an established thing, go uh, for instance, look at Castlevania. Castlevania, Harmony of Dissonance, Symphony of the Night, Circle of the Moon. I mean, they have so many secondary subtitles in so many of their games, and they're all successful. Why? Because they belong in the Castlevania franchise. They see Castlevania, they know what they're getting in for. But basically, like to to explain it really simply, like Vampire of the Masquerade was a game back in the day for PC, right? Yeah. And then you have Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines. That's probably why they went with Earthblood, because they were fully, like... Playing well, to but make that's the thing. You're switching up the subtext. You're switching yeah. up the main title. Yeah. It's no longer vampires. It's werewolves. Yeah. So instead, I would just call it Werewolves Earthblood. That, that's it. I call it... That's, that's all. But Werewolves the Apocalypse is that part of the, the universe, is what I'm saying. Like, if you go buy the werewolf book... Or just Werewolf Darkness, Apocalypse... Like, all of the werewolf books are going to say Werewolf Apocalypse on the front. Well, instead, I would just call it Werewolf the Apocalypse. And then I would say, like, and then I would call, yeah, like... Yeah, save Earthblood in, for, like, if you make a second one or something. Really yeah, like, yeah, either that or call it Earthblood in the game. And, like, and like don't say, like, that title. For instance, they did that with the Fast and Furious franchise. I forget which one it was. I think it was the sixth one. They called it Fast and Furious 6. But then, when the, t the title rolled in, it was Furious 6. That's I, they do that all the time, man, and it it's just I think it would have benefited. Anyway, back to this. Have you ever seen how people kill squid? No. It's kind of weird. You you just give them a karate chop. It's very strange. <laughs> What's this? Okay, you can. That's it. That's it. Damn. It didn't even hit him hard. Yeah. Like, it's just literal, like, karate touch of death. <laughs> yeah. Ha. Like, you would feel kind of badass. I remember one time I was a kid, we were fishing at this lake in, in the town that I'm from, and one of my friends fished up with this little fish. I don't know if we were, like, meant to have a knife or what the fuck happened, but he just <laughs> bashed it on a rock. That was, like, his way of killing it. And I remember thinking, oh. stuff, that's, uh... That's the Smeagol method. I mean, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> that fish is no longer alive. Uh -oh. I didn't know you, you know could kill a squid that easily. Like? Well, oh, yeah. They just don't have anything to protect their brains or something? Yeah, it, effectively that's the case. I mean, if they're in water, then they, they're they able to like move themselves around pretty easily and avoid a lot of like contact. But on land, it's just like... You just got a deflated jelly yeah. bean, so it's going to like squish your brain as well. Yeah markets in India where they have the giant cones. What's up with that? Why don't they fall over? Have you ever just slightly bumped something in a shop and it just 
flies oh. everywhere. Man, uh, what's the plan? Have it well, run, goes, run, oh, have one run! Leaf, and then the whole thing collapses. They're like, what have you done? You've ruined my setup. You you have to pay for yeah. this. Yeah, that, oh, that would almost be like a scam. Yeah, that's What like... happens when a mild breeze comes along and yeah. blows these guys' stupid dunce hats away? That's ridiculous. Or, do you reckon it's like fate? It's just a big cardboard cone with like some glue and some <laughs> seasoning on it. I'm starting to think more and more these are just for show. Like, how does he pack it up at the end of the day without... Because you never see ones that are half cut. What's this scene? <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, it's, that's... Oh, it's, it's cardboard. You reckon it's fake? I reckon they're all fake. That's fine. Wait, did that guy... Roll, roll the footage back like 15 seconds? This guy on the, in the middle. No. <laughs> Oop! <laughs> There's gonna be this like totally innocuous Oop. one thousand view video, and he was one extra, and now he's fucking famous for <laughs> dropping his phone when on a date with a lady. Is this like the Indian David Blaine? Is he doing magic tricks? Is he about to steal? I, I thought what I was yeah, the, I thought what I was seeing was he was trying to <laughs> take her David watch. He's got the drop the chain. Watch, I will shall make this date disappear. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, just and, and just like that, it's gone. Uh oh. I love that title. All caps. This isn't food. This is unbelievable art. It's only art until it's eaten, and then it becomes <laughs> quite the opposite. It becomes shit. You know, I wonder if that would be a gimmick in the future. Like, um, you eat these like capsules that are just filled with food dye, concentrated food dye. Yeah. And then they just turn everything. <laughs> Blue or something. <laughs> yes, it's what those wealthy people do. <laughs> it's like what the rich people in the Hunger Games would do. Yes, like they just do these creepy things just to like flex on poor people. Uh, you know, yeah. you guest at someone else's house is like a dinner party, and then someone walks into the bathroom and there's like this blue stain down the side. Oh <laughs> Who God! The hell did this? And then like everybody puts up their hand. <laughs> it was it was blue. You say, oh, it's mine. It's like no, it's mine. Oh, you're on the blue as well. Oh. Oh, kind of oh. Kind of moment. You really have to try this new brand I got. The blue is so much more vibrant. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've, I've got the, the um, guy was vegan like, friendly. Wasn't red. Oh, mine was green. Was... Yes, yeah, it's made of uh, uh, cop salt. Mine was purple. Oh, of course, my one's <laughs> made of paint, so that sounds much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Jesus. Is that genuinely disgusted? I want to see that reaction again. I've just destroyed it. Jesus. Well, how close was it to it? <laughs> not at all. Uh, yeah, that's not. I think she's just being a wuss about the trap. I guess to be fair. This just works on so many levels. So it's me mining in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always surprised by prawns, like how pink they turn out. Because I'm always like, oh, I guess I got the kind of prawns that aren't pink. Mm. <laughs> and then you cook them, and, yeah. and then yeah, they turn vibrant. Yeah, what's up with that? It's not like people turn a different color really when they get cooked. Them, they do. <laughs> Let's find Pretty out. Sure they Fish turn goes kind of gray. Yeah, yeah it goes kind of gray as well. Chicken goes white. Yeah, chicken goes white. Yeah, why do prawns go orange? They just picked a color, didn't they? Yeah, they just like completely. Do you like... reckon like a cooked flamingo would just go more pink then, or do you reckon it would go like red? Well, because they are pink from eating so many shrimp. Isn't it? I heard that. I don't think it's actually true. I want to pick out. Uh, yeah, I want to say that that's not true. Why aren't the flamingos that are in the zoo also not pink? Oh, right. They feed them pellets. Okay, I was wrong. Oh. Oh, they're already doing the rich person die. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. So. <laughs> Our birds aren't pink enough. <clears throat> Bring out the pellets. <laughs> so, in theory, could you just feed them different colors? <laughs> That's Maybe? the real rich person in hell. They've got like a rainbow flamingo set up. Yes. Thank oh you, my man, gosh. for coming on the show. I can't believe this was your first time. I, I've been, I'm in and the they... background of every previous one. If you look closely enough, <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording in, in half an hour. Oh, no, it is. This was such a natural. All right, well, I'm walking into uh, this school uh, now with a gun. And, uh, put, put that away no. Swap it up for oh, a bit. That's uh, not. Uh, we can't say that. It's a bit. All right. Uh, uh, it's that's uh, always well, been a bacon. It has been for our legal team. Okay, I'm going into this, this boys maternity ward with a cigarette, and I'm yes, going. This, <laughs> that was socially acceptable until the 90s. Uh, no this skit was set during the 80s. We're well, good. I mean, uh, don't thank you for uh, coming in a beautiful sundress. And <laughs> uh, I got this from Cotton. Um... Get it off Gumtree. 
Wow, um, I can't, can't, thank you as an instrument for wearing that, that beautiful overalls with one I of the straps down. Came out of his <laughs> Damn, so it's, so your, it's, it's really going to be a surprise for your partner there. Thank you for <laughs> mimicking American Gothic with me. No, <laughs> Damn. Uh, anyway, on a more serious note, uh, congratulations, ma'am, on on making it three weeks sober. Thank um, you. You know, I know that was a that was a big. We had to cut that from the recording. You've had you've had some bad. Um, luck. Sabino got uh, he got cancer or COVID or whatever. Yeah, I know. So that was bad. Yeah, it was um, oh, testicular shit. cancer. Who would have th- he, I heard he had both testicles removed. Yeah, yeah. no, he's the Lance Armstrong of YouTube. He's, he's like, no, the around right now. Is they yeah, they say, are they like serious? Just really, really <laughs> small now, and it makes it talk in a slightly different <laughs> pitch. And it sounds like the audio is just being mm. pitch shifted, but that's actually his voice. Burger King. Can you believe it? He lost his balls and then ordinary things lost his nose not a lot of people know that because Samita has such a bad immune system we've we've had to replace him yeah uh, with you so uh, that's a shame yeah um, I, you clearly got someone very similar in appearance and Samita White don't there we go. Like, so don't edit my gifts uh, anyway I'm walking into the school now the one you were walking right. into before I'm going back into Yosef Ritzel's attic okay oh. <laughs> I'm yes. delivering Uber Eats to Joseph Fritzl's edit. Five star rating. I'll make sure to Thank give you. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> I like how he was trying to do the same thing where he like he's like, all right, I'm gonna go out now, and he just like kept talking and yeah, opening him back in with jokes. <laughs> It's pretty good. Sort of like me with random conversations, <laughs> just like, okay, let's end the video. Hey, by the way, did you know about the yeah. God. I like Sumito too, but they should definitely bring him back. You know, oh yeah, Sumito. Sumi- because they well, have pretty good chemistry as well. I, I, I was, he actually commented here, bro, what the hell? <laughs> so there you go. Bro, what the hell? That's what the hell, Sumito. That's what the hell. Okay, well, I've already gone 40 minutes on this one, so... <laughs> We're going to end it here, ladies and gentlemen. This was the, the Internet Historian Incognito Mode. Uh, this was food. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you then, everyone. Peace out. <laughs>